Hey guys, Wolverine here on Tarkov. How is everybody doing? Now, on this episode, I am just going to be covering the traders, what loyalty levels you get, what items, and what rare items to hold on to when you start scavenging the apocalyptic wasteland of Tarkov. Now, the warp is around the corner, so this is a good time to talk about what items to keep hold of when you start scavenging, because we're all going to have a clean slate, empty stash, we need to know what items we need to hold on to to trade in somewhere down the line, those rarer items. Now I'm going to cover as much as I can on Frapple, Therapist, Skier and Peacekeeper. As you can see I am max level on them all. I'm going to go through the most important items and what items you need to trade in for those weapons, magazines, all those special important equipment. I'm not going to go through everything because I've done a pre-record of all this and uh, it's too much, it's too long. You guys will get so bored by the time I'm done with it. So I've highlighted the, the most important weapons, items, magazines and the rest you obviously going to learn as you go with which answers important. So I'm going to go through Prapor, Skier, Peacekeeper and Therapist. Display the loyalty levels, the most important, what you need to know. And again guys, there's just so much for me to go through, It's too it would, the video would be too long. But if you have any questions, anything you need to know, something you're unsure with, leave a comment in the comment section and I will get back to you and I'll let you know my advice, what items you need, what's the best strategy for it. Okay, we're on skier on loyalty level 1, there's only one tradable item you need is 4 chainlets, the silver ones, not really worth it guys. You can get the pump action shotgun for 24k, but if you do find these silver chains, they can be found on filing cabinets and on AI scavs. They sell for a bit as well for the therapist, but we don't really use a pump action shotgun. If you're going to use a shotgun, it's going to be the MP153. Just sell the chainlets, don't save up for them, but they're there. It's there if you think, ooh, I'm tight for cash, I would fancy a pump action shotgun. I'll keep an eye out for these chainlets. There you go. Loyalty level 2, this is where it really gets deep, you start unlocking a lot of attachments. Skier is the most important, in my opinion, for everything you need. All the special attachments, all the rigs, the bags, the packer. Skier is the guy to focus on first. A lot of it's price, which is nice, nice and simple. He doesn't offer any tradable on loyalty level 2 so we'll click on to loyalty level 3 doesn't have anything to trade in on loyalty level 3 which is good well not good because you gotta buy everything but still so we'll click on to loyalty level 4 Kiver helmets used to trade you need to trade 5 dusk ma dusk vents but um he obviously it's not asking for them anymore he just sells them the only thing you need to hold on to is this is the only way to get four armor. Obviously, on a couple quests, you can find them on AI scavs. But to buy them, he only trades them to you for seven gold chains. Now, gold chains are really rare. Put that next to the GM count. They're the two most desired items, in my opinion, for tradables. The gold chain can be found in safes, filing cabinets, and rarely on AI scavs. So if you see these gold chains guys, put them in your container, alpha, beta, gamma container, whatever. These are so rare. The, it's really worth the fort armor. So put them in your container. Another item is Peacekeeper. He asks for six gold chains for this AK-74 round. To be fair, this gun is really nice and modified, but to be honest guys, you can buy all these attachments and customize this gun to how you like. 60 round mag, nice butt stock, very nice recoil. The recoil is really low, but to be honest, you can buy all this and customize this. It's not worth the gold chains. The only thing you should spend your gold chains on is the fort armor. Oh, I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> okay, so we're done with skier. Next, we'll go on to therapist. Now you have to be a bit careful with Therapist because to level her up you got to do her quests. But when you complete her quests, you lose reputation with Skier. 
and you will lose loyalty levels with Skia. And in my opinion, here's the full loadout of Therapist when you're at max level. Not a lot of items, to be honest, guys. So, I'd say she's not really worth leveling up. The only... She's only got a couple good items, to be honest. The Grizzly, which you can get for 9,900 rubles. And Morphine for 8,200 rubles. Morphine, you can unlock at loyalty level 3. I suppose that's the most important item for it. Because Painkillers is used if you have a blacked out leg. And you're limping, you can't walk. Use these Painkillers to numb the pain. So you can start running. But they wear off pretty quickly. Morphine lasts a long time. Costs a lot, but they're worth it. I always keep one or two in my container with me. So the only reason to level her up really would be for the morphine. And finally, the grizzly. The grizzly you can get from Peacekeeper and for dollars. So for the sake of trying to level her up, Peacekeeper is more important to level up than therapist. And this waste pouch is a secure container, same for an alpha, so I wouldn't really worth get that either, so. And uh, augmenting auto antibiotic pills is practically the same as morphine, but obviously lasts a lot longer and obviously a bit more expensive. Next, we're going on to Peacekeeper. End game Peacekeeper is the guy to level up. He will offer you the best stuff. For weapons offensive and fours are the best gun hands down and that's all you practically need in a all-rounder battle situation you got the scope you got the red dots on top of the scopes you got a very very good m4 which fires a lot of bullets and fast rate of fire it's, it's a superb weapon peacekeeper is the end game guy to get so the only thing he's offering it's three items for tradable is a AVS chest rig and a MBSS backpack. He asks for H hard drives, which you can get from PCs. Fun little item, if you do find them, trade them into him, he'll give you a bag for it to get four. You can get it from you can get it from Peacekeeper if you find four of these. But I just want to point out with this chest rig and this backpack. You can get the backpack from Skier for 3,200 at loyalty level 1. And loyalty level 2, you can get the chest rig for 16,000 from Skier. So, it's up to you. If you do find them and you want a free chest rig, keep hold of them. If not, just sell them to Therapist or Computer Parts. You'll make a lot of money out of it. And a P226R pistol. Very nice pistol, it requires two CPUs. You can customize this to get a red dot on top of the pistol. I think I've got one somewhere. Let me just load it up. Yeah, as you can see guys, I've got a, a nice red dot on the pistol with a flashlight. It's a very nice gun, but just doesn't pack the punch compared to a TT pistol. And waiting where you can put a silencer on this pistol. Once you can get a silencer on this pistol, it'll be worth using. With the 15 bullets. Um, you can buy them. But if you have the two CPUs. And you want a pistol. I'll just sell the CPUs to be honest guys. But it's up to you if you do like your pistol. Again the only pistol I'd roll with. Would be a TT pistol. Loyalty level 2. Couple weapon tradables. And the bag tradable. We've discussed the energy saving lamps. Not worth it. You can buy them from. Skier. The SIG MPX submachine gun, these two items have not been found, a solid state hard drive and a SAS something, whatever it is, it's, you can't find them so you can't trade it in. A MP5 submachine gun re would require to trade in 5 AK-74Ns, I'd say that's not worth it, because you, you can buy it and that's, that's 5 guns for you to use and 5 extra raids. If you die with the SMG, that's it for the rest of the raids. You haven't got a gun. And let, let's not forget, if you got standard edition, an AK-74 will take up a lot of room. Like if you scroll down, so imagine these are all these AK-74s. Five on one, one, two, three, four, five. 
That's a lot of room for standard edition slash when you can just buy one for $861. I wouldn't say it's worth it to be honest, but if you do like your MP5, you can buy the AK-74s from Prapor and you can get the AK-74s from AI Scavs. So if you do want to collect them and trade them in for an MP5, there it is. I just love an AK-74, so I won't trade them in for an MP5. Loyalty level 3 with Peacekeeper. We're scrolling down and two weapons, a solid state drive and flash drive. I, again, the solid state drives are not been found in game yet. Flash drives are a hard item to find. It's only located in one spawn on in woods. And Skier needs two of these for one of his quests to be completed. So it's not worth this. But my favourite trade item is a M4, which comes in with a couple of customization, a uh, vertical grip and a flash pig compensator. Uh, he requires four MP153 shotguns. They are the semi-automatic shotguns. You can buy these from Skier, or you can find these from AI Scavs, or luckily you might spawn in as a, with a scar, being a scav, you will spawn in with this gun. Four of these for an M4, it's a really good deal in my opinion. So keep hold of the MP153 shotguns. And once you're loyalty level 3 with Peacekeeper, trade them in for some free M4s. But again, you can buy the M4, so it's up to you what you want to do. And finally, loyalty level 4 with Peacekeeper. Two guns, we already covered the AK-74 with a gold chain. Don't trade this in, it's not worth it. The gold chains, you just trade them in for the Ford armor. This special gun, an M4, as you can see, it is fully customized. It's been pimped out to the max. Very, very nice. Ask for a lot, six tool sets, five graphics cards, and six flash drives. Now this will keep you looting for a while to get these items. It's fun though. I mean, I have three graphics cards, two sets, and no flash drives. Again, the flash drives are used for Skier's Quest. And I'm sure some of your friends are going to need a flash drive to complete Skier's quest. But if you want to be selfish and you want, you're lazy, you don't want to modify a gun, you got a lot of stash room, save up your sets, save up your graphics cards and flash drives. And as you can see here guys, the Grizzly can be purchased for $103 at loyalty level 4. And if you only have a standard edition, you can buy the secure container, beta container, which is two by three so that's six slots you can have in your container to save proper at loyalty level one pistol magazines to be honest you can buy most of these like the makarov you can buy it there so you don't need to find, hold on to a cigarette and two matches the ak mag three batteries you can find them pretty easy but you don't want the orange magazine that stands out too much you can plus you can buy the standard black AK magazine in the 30 rounds so I, I wouldn't even bother to hold on to the batteries the PP91, the Kedra, the Clean, the SMG gun either, it's either 20 round mag or 30 round mag now the 20 round mags the, the good but you're gonna want the 30 round mag which you want the Wilkes cigarettes you need four of them or if you keep an eye out for the red circle cigarettes you can four of them you can't buy these you can only trade them from prep war and you can find them in green crates and from other ai scavs the it's a rare spawn they spawn with a, a cadre and they have the magazines when you kill them it's so uh, it's up to you but yeah go for the 30 round any day okay now we're going on to weapons the aks 74 u you can either buy it for 23 and a half thousand rubles or if you have three Zippos, five G Fuel and Gunpowder lying around, then there you go, it's a free deal. Now to be honest, Gunpowder, I think I just sold one, I did, I sold it to Therapist because she pays a lot. Gunpowder's not a common item, I don't find it a lot. Same as G Fuel, I can, you can buy them from Therapist once you've leveled up with her. But to be honest guys, for all this hanging around, I, I wouldn't even bother, I'd just buy the AKS pretty easy. Now the Klin, the Kedra, and another Klin, 
three tradables. The Clan and the Kedra is practically the same gun, except I think the Kedra can't take a certain ammunition. Don't hold me to it, I, I cannot remember. But they, they are practically the same gun. Okay, the Clan, you can either have four Snickers, five chocolate bars, and six energy drinks, or three apple juices, two crackers, two Tushanka, or two MR133 shotguns. Now the MR, I just had to check just to make sure, the MR133 shotguns are the pump action shotguns and you can buy them if you wanted to, you can buy them from Skier at loyalty level 1, you can buy them for 24k, so you're practically paying, what's that, just over 48k for a Kedra. So it's up to you how much you want it. The Kedra is a really good SMG. It's for factory runs, in my opinion. Except there is that crazy fall line. And then my friend Chicken, who likes going in woods with a Kedra. But whatever floats your boat. So if you really want it, just buy two pump action shotguns. You can strip the pump action shotgun down, drag the buttstock, the, the tube, the barrel. He just wants the base gun. So you can sell the rest back off and get a little bit of money back. And the last, and the Kedra, Apple Juice, Crackers, and Tushanka are easy to find. Just keep your eyes open. Scavs carry them. The lot food and drink spawns. They spawn right there. So it's up to you. Again, it takes up a lot of room. You can eat these, build your metabolism up. So it, it's all down to if you got the money, if you want to just buy a couple pump action shotguns or just hold on to a couple cans of Tushanka. Crackers and apple juice. I'd hold on to the Tushanka because four of these you can buy an IFAC from Therapist. I'll show you that now. So Tushanka you can either use it for a Kedra or if you get up to loyalty level 2 with Therapist, trade it with four cans of Tushanka. Not a common item but you do find them pretty easy. I'd rather trade four of these for an IFAC from Therapist once you're loyalty level 2. So there's my opinion. But if you really, really want an IFAC, you can buy them from Peacekeeper at loyalty level 1 for $56. Bit expensive, but if you it's only one by one, really handy. And they removes blood loss, low HP, takes five seconds. So it bandages your bleeding up and recovers your health. For one by one slot, that's really good. Okay, so that's loyalty level one, complete with prep war. Next is an MP443 magazine. Three Wilkes. To be honest, I'd rather save the Wilkes for the... For the... 30 round magazine for the PP91 Clean of Kedra. So, and you can buy, you can find these pretty easy on AI scavs. Or if you spawn in as a scav, you with a Gratch pistol, you're gonna have these magazines. So pretty easy. So I would save the Wilk cigarettes for your 30 round mags. Next, a TT magazine, free marble red cigarettes for a TT magazine. Now they aren't hard to find, the TT magazines, you can get these from AI scavs in green crates. So I don't struggle finding these, but if you desperately need a mag or two, just keep an eye out for these Marlborette cigarettes. And while we're on the Gratch pistol, sorry guys, the Gratch pistol would require, you can trade it in for two CPU fans and a graphics card. The CPU fans and the graphics card can be found from PC parts, PC com components in certain buildings. Now I'll be really honest with you guys, it's not worth it. Again, you can spawn in as an AI scav with a Gratch pistol. And a lot of AI scavs have the Gratch pistol when you kill them. You can take the gun, you can take the magazines, you don't need to, these items to trade for these. It's e They're easy to get guys, it's not worth it. The graphics card is used for something else further down the line, which I'll show you later. Plus, to go for a really good price if you sell the computer parts to Therapist, especially the graphics card. So, it's not worth it, guys. So, completely disregard the Gratch pistol and the magazine entirely. Next is a 
five rounds mag f for the Sega 12 shotgun. Trade it for a Zippo lighter. Now, the Zippo lighter, they're easy to find. The You can get these from Skier from Loyalty Level 2, I believe, for about 1,600 rubles. So it's up to you. Again, the Zippos can be traded for... Which one is it? For... The Kedra? Is it the Kedra? No, 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 no. For the AKS. But again, it's up to you. I don't ever grab them. The Zippos are not worth it. So the choice is there for you, but you can buy them from Skier. Next is an interesting item. A 45 round magazine for the AK-74 and the AKS. 45 bullets is obviously a lot better than 30 bullets, but there's a downside. As you can see here, it's one by three. It goes. It's not a standard two, two one by two mag. It's a one by three, so you need a alpha rig to hold this, which is ridiculous, especially when you only need up to loyalty level two with prep or. It's not worth it guys. You can get the 60 round magazine from Prapor at loyalty level 3 for 10k. So it, it, it's not worth it. Don't even think about it. You got to get the spark plug and a wrench for this to work. Now I can tell you now the spark plugs are used for one of the therapies quests later on down the line. I think she needs four spark plugs with four car batteries. So. I'd hold on to the spark plugs, sell the wrenches to the therapist. It's not worth it guys, so disregard this. Just hold out a little bit longer, level up prep a bit more and you can buy yourself a 60 round magazine, easy. Next is a RGD5 hand grenade. You can trade one for, for prep or with a ES lamp, energy saving lamp. You can find these in filing cabinets. One of these for a grenade. Now, the ES lamp can be traded for two different things, a hand grenade or a tricep backpack. If you level up prep or to loyalty level 3, you can buy the hand grenade for 3,300. And so it, it's up to you. If you find a couple of these, yeah, you get a couple of free grenades. Um, you can, or you can use the energy saving lamp for buying a tricep. If you go to Peacekeeper and you get up to loyalty level 2, he will ask for 8 energy saving lamps and will trade it you for a tricep. So it's up to you what you want to use the energy saving lamps. But it, it doesn't really matter. Once you start leveling up, you can buy the tricep backpack from Skier at loyalty level 3 for 21k. And it works out about the same price, 8 energy saving lamps for rounds out about the same price as a tricep backpack so it, it's up to you what you want to use with the energy saving lamps a grenade or saving up for triceps or sell them to therapists it's up, entirely up to you guys but you'll be able to access the hand grenade and the tricep backpack further down the line for money so ES lamps are not that important next probably one of my favorite attachments is a PSO scope the PSO scope goes on AK-74, the Val, the Vinteres, very good scope, and, and also the SKS, so very multi-purpose. Now, you can't buy these, you can only trade them from Prapor for two condensed milk. Condensed milk is a food item you can find them practically everywhere. They're a lot rarer than its other counterpart foods. You can find these in AI scavs when you search the pockets and bags. Or you can find them in on um, tables and houses. Not too rare, but enough for you not find them a lot in raids. But they are common enough to find. I mean, I have, I think I have about ten. I have three here spare. I have one on me SKS, two on me SKS, three on me Vals, and two on my AK74. So I have about ten PSO scopes. So they are easier to find, not too hard, so don't stress. Condensed milk, one by one, when you find one, put it in your alpha, beta or gamma container. So if you die, you won't lose them. You won't regret it. Keep an eye out for these condensed milk and God forbid, don't you dare consume these condensed milk. 
The PSO scope can be found in green crates as well. Not too rare, but you won't find them a lot. And also on certain AI scars on the odd AK-74 and on the odd SKS. Next is the Cobra EKP-818 reflex sight. Now you can, if you remember, you can buy the reflex sight for 9,700 rubles. This is the one that attaches straight away to your AK-74, so you don't need anything extra. The difference is for this one is these attach on rails like at the front of your gun or anywhere else practically it doesn't not need that extra slot so you can either buy it for 9700 or trade it in for mr133 pump action shotgun now a pump action shotgun costs 25,000 rubles to trade in where you can buy the reflex site for 9735 it's not worth it unless you sell the pump action shotgun and you'll get just under 10k for it and be able to buy the sights. So it, it's up to you. Not the best sight, but it, it's early on, it's a good sight for you attaching to your AK 74. Next is the AKS 74 UN. The differences between this AKS is if you read the description, it has a dovetail mount so you can attach a scope onto it. To get this, you need three PSU power units and a sour. Now, the PSU power units can be found in PC components. They take up a lot of room, two by two, so that's four slots altogether. You can sell them to therapists for a good price, and I'd just buy an AK-74 for the dovetail, to be honest, guys. So, and the sour is you're going to need them for a therapist quest and. I'll, I'll give it a miss unless you you are you are a big AKS fanboy and you like using them, especially for factory runs. Maybe the Sega 12 shotgun. You can trade it for a few items of food: two salary, four squash, and two peas. You can buy these from Skier at loyalty level two. So for the sake of hot searching for these food to get a shotgun, you can get it from Skier for the for the money. But it's up to you. If you got these foods lying around, I'd say go for it. It's obviously a lot cheaper to get to get the shotgun. Well, obviously, a lot of time and storage for it. Next is an interesting item: an AK-74N assault rifle. So you're asking me what's the difference between the standard one and the AK-74N, the one where you can trade. It's all black. It's polymer, so it's a lot lighter compared to its wooden brother sister however you want to call it and obviously it looks a lot nicer than black so it's up to you to get this you need three tool sets as you can see i have two and to go for 6k for prep or or if you sell them go for almost 8k for therapist i'm keeping all two of them because they're used for something else further down the line but again ak 74 n Keep an eye out for these sets. It's up to you to take up a lot of room and for the price, if I sold three of these to therapists, I'd have the same amount to buy a AK-74 standard one for 24k. So it's up to you if you want it all in black. A black polymer. Loyalty level three with prep or F1 hand grenade. If you get a UV lamp, it's basically a retexture of the energy saving lamp. These can be found on filing cabinets as well. A lot rarer. One of them for F1 hand grenade. You can only get F1 hand grenades from prep or by trading. You cannot buy them, but you can find them in game when you search those grenade containers. As I said, guys, once you get to the loyalty level three, you can get a 60 round magazine for the AK-74. And as you notice, you start leveling up and newer ammunitions start to unlock. My best advice is to you about the ammunition is to go on Tarkov Wikipedia and type in ammunition, click on the ammunition 5 by 4 5 by 39 and it will come up in all the different AK-74 ammo, which one's best for damage, armor penetration, all that kind of stuff so you have an idea what, ammo, what type of ammo do you want to use in certain situations.
The next item for tradable to hang on to is a silence cadre. As you can see, it has a silencer attached to it. I haven't had one yet, but a silence SMG is going to be really good, especially in factory. To get this, you need seven the orange magazines for the AK-74 or the AKS, four scav vests, and two scav backpacks. You can buy the scav backpacks from Skier at loyalty level two. You can buy the scav vests from Skier or Peacekeeper. The orange AK mags, the only issue for these, you need those three batteries to trade them in. So maybe that's the only reason why I keep an eye out for the double A batteries. Another way is just to keep an eye on the green crates when you're in raids. A lot of orange AK-74 mags do spawn in those green crates. So just pick them up when you find them. They are pretty common, I wouldn't worry too much about it. The PB 9x18 silence pistol, basically a silence Makarov with a 84 round drum mag, is a very very interesting item indeed. It's like so many bullets for a silenced pistol. The only catch to it is you need two GM counts. These items are one of the hardest things to find in game. I don't find many of these and two guns require this to for a trade option. And these things are hard to find. If I knew I needed these, I sold so many of these as I started the game and I just regret it so much. So if you ever find a GM count, put it in your alpha container, beta container, gamma container, whatever. Now it's a personal choice what I advise you to do with the GM count. If you want an 84 round silence pistol running around on customs, then by all means this is the gun for you. But you can get a silence TT pistol which is only 8 bullets. Yes, only 8 bullets, but you can have the silence pistol feeling, and there you go. And just reload, whatever. I mean, if you can't kill a guy with 8 bullets, and you need 84, then you need to think, well, maybe I do need a assault rifle or something like that. My point is, the, the GM count also goes to a AS Val, a very, very good assault rifle built-in suppressor class as a sniper rifle but it's 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 like an assault rifle in this game hardly no recoil fast rate of fire very very amazing gun i just recently released a video on this doing a squad wipe with my as well three against one amazing i, I loved it it's one of i think it's my favorite gun at the moment and it requires a GM count. So I can't stress to you enough guys. Hold on to the GM count. It, that's the only way to get an AS foul. It's from Prapor trading with a GM count. And the silenced pistol. There's a rare chance you can find the silenced pistol from AI Scars. Very rare. I found one in the factory once. And you can also buy the drum mag from skier at loyalty level 4 so you can attach it to a standard Makarov if you want that 84 bullets feeling but again it's entirely up to you I'd go for the Val but some people might be feeling silence pistol with 84 bullets and also you can get the MREs from Peacekeeper at loyalty level 1 so I won't stress too much about where do you find these Loyalty level 4 is an interesting one for prep war. This is where the best stuff is unlocked, but also tradable items are needed. For the Vinterez or the Val to get the magazines, you either need to trade in a circuit board, which you can find circuit boards from computer parts. Pretty easy, they're pretty common, and filing cabinets. But 10 rounds aren't enough in my opinion. The bullets fly past so quickly. You need a 20 round magazine which you need a Dusk filter for. Now, if you guys have been playing Tarkov for a while, Dusk filters are used to be so hard to find and there's only one thing you'd use it for, which would be for the Kiva helmet. 
the Kiva helmet you can now buy now, so that basically gets rid of this hole in the filters and gives this filter option to buy the magazine or the Vinteres. So it's entirely up to you, but you guys definitely need the 20 round mags if you are going to run with a AS valve or a Vinteres. To find these dust filters, you can get them from filing cabinets and the odd um, AI scar. Very rare, I've only seen one once in an AI. Filing cabinets, you'll find these. So if you do find these filters, hold on to them. You're going to need them for the magazines. Speaking of the VSS, you will need five filters and a 3 by 24 times 42 scope. Now, this scope can be brought from Skier at loyalty level 4 for 60k. So you're practically paying 60k for the, the Vinteres. Uh, I haven't found one of these scopes in game yet and you can get it from if you buy the sniper rifle um, if you if you buy the DVL you get the scope with it and I, the scope's too zoomy for my liking it's too much zoom and I, I use one of the M4 scopes to be honest on the sniper to just give you a little bit less zoom so you're spending a lot of money for this Vinteres and the kicker is you don't get a scope with the Vinteres, you got to attach your own PSO scope to it. So you can see these two items are hard to get but you've got to keep an eye out for those GM counts and those Dusk filters. And finally the SV-98 sniper rifle. You need four batteries and six rechargeable batteries. Now to be honest guys, on loyalty level 3, I don't know why this happens, you can buy it for 135,000. But if you don't want to spend that much cash, and you have 4 batteries lying around, and 6 rec batteries lying around, trade them in. You're obviously saving yourself a bit of money. But I just want to point out these batteries, these car batteries are used for therapy's quest with the spark plugs somewhere down the line. I believe she needs four car batteries. So I'd say hold on to those four car batteries for the therapist and just buy the sniper rifle outright. Again, you can buy the magazine for the SV98 at loyalty level three or trade them in for two printing paper. The printing paper can be used for Either trading them in for the SV98 mag or for the therapist, which she will ask for two of them for a sour. So it's up to you. I do collect them for fun, just uh, what I feel like. I I use them for. Let's work it out. Two of them, so that's going to be what two thirty-four thousand, three thousand four hundred rubles, and a magazine for it. So. You, you're saving a bit of money if you find two printer paper for the magazine. Not by much, but it's fun. It's it's fun getting these special items. Four is the AKS 74 UB. It's a silenced, but the issue is you need two contact headphones and two black rocks. Now you can buy these off skier. Now let, let's just do a price comparison with these two for this AK silence AKS. So you can get that Silence AKS where if you have loyalty level 2 with Skier you can buy the Black Rocks which if you times that by 2 that's 33k and the contacts as well that is what 64,000 rubles for a silenced AKS it's not really worth it guys the only way you're going to find these contacts is either buy them or you kill somebody wearing them and black rocks you can get them off players off scarves so they're pretty easy to find but for that price of 64,000 rubles you could just literally buy let's see um, you can just literally buy an AK-74 ran or an AKS a, a standard AKS and just buy a silencer for it now you gotta be loyalty level 3 to buy the silencer at either at 23,000 for 
Prapor, or if you're loyalty level 3 with Skier, you can buy the cheaper one for AK-74 for 8, 18k. So if you think about it, you'll be saving a lot of money if you just buy a SPOG standard gun, AK-74 or AKS, and just buy the silencer, drag it on and it should attach. So you'll be saving yourself a lot of money, don't stress. Plus the contacts are really good, I love using the Acer life-saving equipment. So that's it for Prapor. So the key for this one is hold on to those um, GM counts and hold on to those dusk filters. And that's it practically guys. So there we have it guys, the traders. My advice to you is Prapor is going to be the easiest to level up at first with his quests and access to AK-74s. I'd get Prapor up to at least loyalty level 2 just to get access to those AK-74s. And then focus on Skier. I mean, once we get once we get to loyalty level 2, you can get standard AK-74s. It's my probably my favourite gun. I do love using the AK-74 and the PSO scope. Once you get up to lower to level 2, I'd focus on Skier. Because once you start unlocking here, you'll get attachment after attachment after attachment to reduce your recoil and scopes and flashlights and all that nice rigs, all the room you need for doing those battles. Skier is the best guy to level up. He has everything, practically everything. The only thing he doesn't have is automatic guns. So. And then I would focus on Peacekeeper, get him up to loyalty level 3 at least to get access to those M4s. And then finally loyalty level 4 to get the Grizzly. Therapist I'll leave her to last, get her to loyalty level 3 to get the Morphine. But it's not a must, it's just a nicety because you can just get the painkillers for loyalty level 1. Prapor does have the most items to trade in for those fun quest items to hold out for. But it, you don't need them unless you want a, a Val or a Vinterez. And also the Fort Armor. They are the three item the three the two weapons and the protective armor you're gonna if you want them you gotta save for the loot. So my advice to you is break down every gun, sell all the as many parts as you can to skier, sell the rest to peacekeeper for the dollars and the scraps, magazines, ammunition for prapple and any food or computer parts if you want a lot a bit extra money sell them to therapist. So there we have it guys get prapple up to level 2 then focus on skier and peacekeeper practically. Thank you very much for watching, uh, I know it's been a long one, trust me, I've had to edit this out so much. Uh, I've just looked at the timer and I've been recording for an hour, so what you're watching I've broken down dramatically. I will do an update video in the next patch, the next patch is going to be out in the next few days apparently. So once I find out any new changes or any new items we need to trade, I'll update that so you know what items you need to ho keep hold of. So yeah guys, any questions leave a, uh, a comment in the comment section, any questions, any advice, strategies, anything you need to know and I know, I'll let you know and give you that advice. But yeah guys, any suggestions, anything I've missed, anything you think is important, leave in the comments for all the other readers to read. Guys, you are awesome, thank you for your support, I'll see you in the next video.